The thing with spies, with all their secrets and power and egos, is that it really seems to go to their heads. And honestly, how can you blame them? They are literally beyond public scrutiny. Anyone tries to stick their nose in, you just stamp everything as classified and loudly denounce them as unpatriotic. Well, I see it as a very, very serious and outrageous move on the part of Mr. Trump, once again, trampling upon the statutory authorities of the Director of National Intelligence and the heads of the independent intelligence agencies. How dare Trump? What true American would ever question why they're being wiretapped and spied upon? Good thing America has MSNBC, true patriots, hired Mr. Brennan full-time so he can vent his frustrations for everyone to hear. Of course, to do that, MSNBC had to sacrifice their principles and integrity. President Obama said today he still stands by his CIA chief, John Brennan, even though it turns out the CIA was indeed spying on the Senate, and some senators are calling for Brennan to be fired. Now, just to be clear, that was in 2014, when they weren't on the same side, and spying on everyone, your own elected leaders included, was considered dubious. This is 2019, and the word spying is now considered politically incorrect. It offends people who, people who secretly eavesdrop and record and film everyone. Agents, the good guys. The talking point from the president and those around him telling Congress spying did occur on the Trump campaign. It's a loaded word. He has to know the implications of using that word. It is now Donald Trump's favorite new word and the Trump media's favorite new word. Senate Intelligence FBI Chair Dianne Feinstein accused Brennan CIA of secretly tracking the Senate's investigation into one of the worst abuses in recent CIA history. And now factor in this huge news scandal, the fact that Brennan CIA was spying on members of Congress. The CIA was spying on the Senate Intelligence Committee, basically busting into their computers. But I give MSNBC too much credit. There are others, too. Washington Post gave Brennan his own column where he publishes pieces with noble, noble titles. I will speak out until integrity returns to the White House. He promises. Well done, Washington Post. It takes courage to set aside what you believe in, to go back on your word. But again, it's been five years. Who remembers things like that, right? The Guardian, same thing. Why is Donald Trump attacking the U.S. intelligence community? CIA Director John Brennan lied to you and to the Senate. Fire him. Surprisingly, Brennan isn't working for The Guardian yet. One by one, though, the pundits and anchors are seeing wrong from right. The question is, are they going to demand Brennan's resignation or accountability within the CIA? The patriotic answer, by the way, is no. Holding the CIA accountable would be stupid. They're secret agents. They do top secret stuff and drink martinis and hack things and carry out special secret missions. DNI, I didn't see anything uh, improper or unlawful. And yes, James Clapper, Brennan's former boss, is now a CNN employee. I'll tell you this every true American can be proud that. There are brave, brave people that watch over you and record everything you do or say, day and night, whether you want it or not. And if times or politics change in five years, no one will remember it ever happened.